general ledger, examine any canceled stock certificates, and inspect any unissued stock certificates in the stock certificate book. Now we're going to consider the assertion of valuation. Stock issued for cash is fairly simple transaction. So when we consider the valuation of stock that's issued for cash, because it's typically considered a market exchange, if it's going to be a publicly traded company on a market exchange, fairly straightforward type of transaction, the valuation would be, you would think, the market exchange, and the market exchange not too difficult to know, considering cash was paid for it. And so proceeds from the sale uh, are traced to the cash receipts records for valuation. Valuation is more complex when stock is issued for property, goods, or services. Obviously, when we have property, goods, or services, we are issuing stock, which we may not exactly know the value for, although... Uh, if other stock is being traded on the stock exchange, that might help us with that type of transaction, but it's more complex than if we just got cash in a market transaction. And then, of course, the property, goods, and services that we're receiving, it's hard to determine exactly what the market rate is for those property, goods, and services. So that's a bit more complex of a valuation. Stock dividends can also be more complex auditing issue. So when we have stock dividends... So in essence, when we're giving back value to the shareholders, but instead of the, the giving back, in essence, the retained earnings, the earnings of 